Hey guys, it's Chaos and Comics. Gonna do a, another in the car review this time for Swordmaster number one, continuing the uh, the efforts of Marvel to develop some characters based in Asian countries. Um, we've had so we had Agents of Atlas during War of the Realms, which is actually a solid book, ended up being a big team book, so the individual heroes couldn't get a ton of their own uh, screen time, but it was still it was still good, and they actually did a real good job of uh, keeping you abreast of which hero is which, because obviously we're not going to be super familiar with them, and there was a whole bunch of first appearances. Uh, it sort of reminded me of reading old uh, Legion of Superheroes. Then we got Arrow uh, a couple weeks ago, and, and that was good. She is, she is um, set in Shanghai, I think. Um, I'm not sure. When I read it and it wasn't like Beijing or it wasn't Hong Kong or anything, I, I thought, oh, we're going to get some real culturally focused stuff. So I don't want to mess that up because I know um, China is very, very big and actually has a, a, a bunch of different uh, pockets of, of separate cultures and separate languages too. So uh, I'll make sure that I'm better at that. But what was better in Arrow was the story that involved Arrow and Wave at the end. Now Swordmaster is similar. There's two stories in here. And one of them is by Greg Pak and one of them is adapted by B Greg Pak. The Sword in the Tomb, which is going to be, which is going to, uh, looks like it's going to uh, push the, the main thread of Swordmaster. Uh, which is uh, him trying to find his father, uh, is written by uh, Shui Zhu, and the artist is Gunji, and then adapted by Greg Pak. And this is that story was actually very good, uh, just as far as first issues go, as you guys know, or as if you watch the House of X review that I did. Uh, if it's getting me to ask questions or getting me curious about what ha what happens, if there's a lot of setup, but I'm I'm just excited and curious about what's going to go on. Uh, after this, then I consider that a good issue, and I'll give it room if there's a lot of exposition. Now, there wasn't a ton of exposition here. There was actually um, some decent action, most of it happening in action scenes, but what I want to point out is, while uh, Shu Zhu, Shui Zhu uh, wrote a, a good book for a first issue, uh, Gun Ji, the art, is just amazing. It is like the perfect mix between Western art, and I understand that these are... Uh, Chinese artists, but they're clearly they're clearly influenced by the Japanese um, sequential art style. But uh, I, as you can see from Swordmaster himself, whose name is Swordmaster's name is uh, Lin Lai here. But uh, I mean, just the art and the coloring, and it looks like he did the coloring, or I'm assuming it's he. I'm sorry about that did the coloring too and it's just beautiful it's like the perfect mix it has the detail that you get in a lot of anime um but with except with beautiful colors so this is just inside of a inside of a dorm or, or a flat right but it still looks great still a ton uh, a ton of detail even in the blanket you know so i i really really enjoyed this art even if it wasn't um i mean even for just the, like detail around the pictures you could just see in this panel um i'm gonna keep forgetting his name uh gunji you can see even in this panel that isn't an action panel of any kind or isn't a uh it's just a conversation panel just uh lin lies flat there just how uh how focused he is in on on getting a whole bunch of details in there and man i don't know i hope he can keep up with that because uh, it's really enjoyable. And it's so enjoyable that when there is not any detail in the background, for example, when he's uh, talking to these little scoundrel dudes here, um, you sort of notice, but it's still, uh, even though it gets, I don't want to say weaker, but off into the shadows here, it feels like it's important to really focus on these guys, you know, because he still gets in into the like, detail on the walls and stuff here. So I really like the art on a real, on a real subtle level. And, uh, you know, the colors are beautiful too. Uh, even though I'd say they're basic, I think they're just chosen correctly. So, uh, very good story, uh, mostly about him trying to find his father and figure out what's up with the Swordmaster. The B story, so this sort of switches on Arrow, the B story wasn't quite as 
uh, good as the first story. That's a Greg Pack story outright, and the artist is Ario uh, Anandito, or Anandito, and there's nothing wrong with it. This one, so the first story takes place before War of the Realms. This story takes place after it, but it's just a, you know, solid, sort of what you expect, Greg Pack story, and it's Swordmaster in New York, so he gets to, basically is going to get some training from Shang-Chi, and then naturally, even though Marvel's trying to push um, the new characters, Shang-Chi is getting his own film, so we're going to see a lot more Shang-Chi around, but it was just a basic, like, training, destroy this block of wood kind of, uh, kind of mini comic at the end and then with you know a villain that's the villain we're fighting the god of the god of war anyway very pleasantly surprised so i'm going to stick with these for a while hopefully um one because i want to see if they're good and two i want to see what marvel's actually uh what kind of time marvel's actually putting in to some of these asian, asian characters also i'm sick of everything being set in new york but that's separate anyway thank you guys for watching